Hey everyone, it's Clint. It's a Saturday morning and uh, I, I don't know, I kind of might do this more often, do Saturday videos that are kind of a vlog format. If vlog, I don't know if that's the right thing. This would be a cell phone video, essentially just to kind of let you know what's going on uh, and some of my thoughts in general and not like so much of a specific like news item uh, type of feel. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if this works okay. Uh, so I'm showing you right now, these are logos. This is a logo, three different versions of the same logo. Sweet Comics, this was done by Bob Stone, who you might know his work from Jawbreakers. I think he did the Splato Delgado uh, logo as well. And so, yeah, he did these for me. They look fantastic. And the, the thing is, I'm always like, which one though? Because I like things about all three, though the more I look at them, this third one is nice just because of the black. It just really pops. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. Again, I like all three. He, he did some other trade dress examples too with these logos uh, for like floppies, which is not necessarily what I'm doing. <laughs> but I don't know. It's still it's still fun to look at. Um, so I'm going to start incorporating this logo. Now, starting a publishing company. Here's the weird thing. So if I were to tell anybody... Uh, Okay, even two years ago, if I told somebody, if I told myself two years ago, hey, I know a good investment opportunity, a good idea would be to take a bunch of money and finance the production of a comic book and uh, throw it on Indiegogo. That's a good idea. You'll probably make some profit. Uh, go ahead and do that. I would say I'm a, I'm a nut job. And I think in most, uh, most cases, especially two years ago, it was just a bad idea, not a good idea at all. But today in 2020, despite all of the, the bad, terrible things that are going on, crowdfunding comics and doing your own publishing is, uh, actually viable. It's viable for a lot of people too. I I got thinking I got thinking about how vital YouTube is to my process of selling comics, and then I started thinking of all these examples of people who have very small YouTube channels. They only stream. They're not getting tons and tons of views, and their books are making more money than I've ever made on a comic book. Uh, the guy guys that I stream with, Eric Weathers, uh, and Vaughn Klaus. Both of their campaigns have done far better uh, than any of my campaigns so far. Uh, and, uh, you know, they technically have YouTube channels, but uh, I think uh, it's, you know, they're not they're not grinding out videos like I have been uh, over the past couple of years. That's that's kind of amazing. That's a good thing. I still think YouTube is uh, absolutely great, especially if uh, you don't have uh you know decades in the industry under your belt but what that tells me is that there's just genuinely a market for people that want to buy good comics you could still have to give them a reason to buy your comic sure uh but it doesn't always have to be that you are um j j an internet personality there's a market for people out there looking for books uh, so, so there's that check, check that one off the list. Second, uh, <laughs> so I got to think of public publication schedules. Uh, I always look at the big guys in comic skate being, uh, Ethan Van Skyver and Richard Meyer and seeing what they're doing with their publication schedule. And both of them seem to be following a trend of doing more books. They're nowhere near the, the number of titles that, uh, any other you know, major comic book publishers putting out, uh, not even close, but they're still putting out more and more books. And that makes sense. If uh, you've got the, the, your production flow going, you're making books and you're making money on all of, you know, most, if not all books, though um, I'm waiting for the day when there's, uh, there's a big flop. Uh, I, your boy, Zach said that he's expecting every once in a while him to hit a book that just does not sell well. Uh, I'm sure that'll happen. The day will come, but um, I don't know. It's just interesting to keep an eye on, I suppose. Uh, so as that's going on, I'm sort of thinking about my future and what I want to do in indie comics. And I think uh, this is the direction I want to go. Uh, ideally, where are the place that I want to get to is have books 
finished or near finished before launching them on a crowdfunding campaign. I want to use the crowdfunding campaign to make books and people that back crowdfunding campaigns are getting something special for backing. They're supporting it. They're making the risk factor of making a comic book uh, just better. They're minimizing the risk, essentially, when you back a crowdfunding campaign. But what comes after that, I want to do not massive print runs, but I want to do slightly larger print runs and have copies to sell uh, because that makes sense for the future. That And how many? That's so tough to know because, uh, honestly, on Downcast 1, I should have printed more copies. I thought I would have plenty. I was a little worried about having too many. But the thing is, they're selling on the second time around. You know, Downcast 2, people are buying the first book as well. So I will probably sell out of Downcast books at some point this year. Uh, that's a little frightening to me. Luckily, you know, there will be alterna books. And so it's still getting out to readers. But I, I just didn't know what to expect. And uh, I should have overprinted a little bit more, frankly. Uh, so with Sweet Comics, here's my goal. I'm thinking if I can do two books a year, uh, I'm almost at two books a year now um, because I I shipped out the last one back in November, and now here we are in July. And as soon as I get those books, I'm shipping them out. So that's pretty close to you know being a twice a year scheduled for shipping. Uh, <clears throat> something that's going to help is having the books finished, if not almost finished, before launching a book, having more done. That takes more money, and uh, and so I don't know. It, it's it's a little tough getting the machine up and running. the 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 cool thing about this though is I've never had a six figure campaign. I've never had sixty thousand or fifty thousand. Uh, Downcast two is at it's almost at uh, thirty eight thousand, which is fantastic. Um, but there's there's enough profit that I'm just siphoning off some from each to roll into the next. And it is snowballing. It's getting a little bit bigger each time. It also helps a lot that Charlie Snogans is a, is a just amazing partner for this next book. And so upfront investment hasn't been backbreaking um, because we're both just investing time. Uh, and, and Charlie for sure is investing, I mean, just some of the most beautiful artwork ever. So I think this is the goal is two books per year. Um, for now, we'll see what, what happens, but what I want to do is really make, really hone in on graphic novels, um, and make that the format of choice for sweet comics. Um, and how, how deep into the publishing game do I want to get? Uh, not, not super deep, <laughs> not, not yet. Uh, but, uh, but the cool thing is though, <clears throat> I was realizing as I looked at uh, writing opportunities that exist in comics, they are few and far between. As a writer, I want to be always adding to my resume and have, uh, you know, more published works under my belt. And that is near impossible. If you're writing comics, it you know how tough it is. It's tough just to find your own artist and do your own thing. It is near impossible to get a publisher to look at you unless you have some kind of reason if you check off the right kind of box for them to want to publish you. Uh, but, you know, in, in in this case, I can pick exactly what I want to write and I can write it. You know, there obviously, like, I want to pick something that I think is going to sell. I think people are going to be interested in and make a, a wise decision in, in, you know, that regard. But overall, I'm really just picking something that I think people are going to like, that I like, that I can get passionate about, and um, and then I can write that. Uh, that's that's an amazing opportunity, and I can do it with with a fair amount of confidence. In fact, when, when it comes to uh, Fatal, I'm actually feeling super confident. Normally, at this time in the process, I start to sweat and I'm just I'm nervous. But as I've been putting the campaign page together, and I've seen more art than you've seen, uh, I just I'm feeling confident about it. I th I'm feeling very, very good about Fatal. Uh, so we'll see. So the next book, I, I've got, I've got three ideas that I want to do. If I'm really focusing on two books a year, that is, uh, it's not a lot. 
It's not intense uh, crowdfunding constantly, but it is a lot of work. And uh, what do I think is the most marketable? People want to see a Clint Stoker's Dracula. I get asked about that all of the time. So I want to give the people what they want. But I didn't want to just do it uh, for the sake of doing it. I started thinking about Dracula and how I would approach it. And this, if you're a writer, I strongly suggest this exercise but just do some mindless work, go out and pull weeds, uh, you know, just work outside, do something where you're not looking at a screen, where you're just doing something manual, and that frees your brain up and you can just think. Writer's block uh, is so much more frequent if you're always on Twitter, if you're always online, if you're always looking at a screen or playing a game or reading a book, uh, you need to just go do something and sort of just let your mind be free. But I started thinking about if I got hired by a publisher to write Dracula, what would I do? <clears throat> I would bend over backward to make sure that I do the best possible work that I can. Uh, that would be true, you know, at, at any time. So a publisher, Sweet Comics, is giving me a chance to write Dracula. What would I write? Because that's what the publisher needs. Started thinking about like that, and I... And I the ideas were flowing. I've got one great idea that I think I want to pursue. It's going to be a little bit more uh, research intensive. And that's because first off, it's, it is an existing property. I've got, to, I read the book, but it was a long time ago. I was in junior high. Uh, I need to refresh my knowledge. I don't know if I'm going to read the book again or read the cliff notes or something. I just want to make sure I, I refresh my memory as to what happens in Dracula and uh, I've got an idea that I think is fresh. I think I'm not sure it has ever been done before with Dracula. And uh, it excites me. And I think that's the big thing. So that might be the next book. I've got to figure out uh, who's going to draw it to. Um, got to do, I've got to do some talking. <laughs> some creative team talking. I've got to figure it out. I'm so early in the stages now. But uh, this is essentially behind the scenes. I mean a small publisher of uh, one creator basically uh, running my own show and this is the freedom that I have I get to decide what my next book is going to be uh, as I'm you know sort of in the back of my mind as I'm working on the current book and now it's kind of like I've got my fingers in three books and this is why I'm only doing two books a year because I feel like it would be easy to get just overrun with stuff because there's the creative stuff, which is great, but it's still, it takes a lot out of you to do, to be creative and do writing on two, three, four different stories at the same time, let alone all the business aspect of it. Uh, yeah, anyway, so there's, uh, that's sort of what's going on with me. That's my thoughts for the future. Um, uh, for me, I want to focus a little bit more on this publishing imprint because I do like the freedom of doing what I want and what I think that you want or what you tell me what you want. Um, and uh, that's essentially the goal of Sweet Comics. Uh, I understand my place in the market. I think that's important too. Uh, I'm not going to be charging uh, big, you know, lots and lots of money, high dollar items and, uh, you know, making collectibles other than comics in that uh, I don't think I can command. <laughs> I don't think I can command that. I'm not really sure of my subsection uh, of indie comics, of Comicscape, you know, exactly where I stand. And I think a lot of that is just going to take some time and uh, just keep making comics, really, to, to figure that all out. Uh, but this, this is fun. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Will I ever hire and kind of go down the route of hiring other creators to to do more stuff, you know, put, like would I hire another writer, for example, to work on a different story? I don't know. I guess I'm open to that idea. But ultimately, I think uh, what the goal would be is I look at all successful publishers and they have IP. They have those titles that you look at uh, again and you think of, I don't know, any major publisher, you're going to think of some title, some ongoing series, some intellectual property that they are associated with. Uh, and that is what I need. <laughs> and so some of that is going to be some, some, you know, it'll take, just take some time, honestly, to get books out there and see what you all think about them. 
and uh, I don't know, sort of move forward from there. So we'll see. Uh, appreciate you watching, especially if you watch this far on this uh, vlog style video. This is what's going on with me. If you haven't uh, backed Downcast yet, you still have a chance to do so. I still have books left, uh, but they are selling. And um, I don't know, if you, if you want to get one of these fir first print books um, from Sweet Comics, I would appreciate it. I think it's a good idea to um, to back it now. And then Fatal is coming up super soon. We're basically, I th I'd say we're 95% ready to launch on Fatal. A uh, few little things we need to get worked out, but um, basically they're just details. I mean, the, the campaign's ready to go, and we're like several, we're like 20 pages in, like completed pages into the story, and uh, so it's um it's going well. Anyway, appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video, probably a little bit more of a newsy video. Thanks. Bye.